Hey guys, welcome to Gadgets 360. My name is Pranay and in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the settings you need to enable for maximum privacy on Signal, the messaging app, which is known for its focus on privacy and security and the one that a bunch of you have switched to from WhatsApp because you were not comfortable with the privacy policy of WhatsApp. Now, even if you've not abandoned WhatsApp completely, it's always good to have a second messaging app where you can be in touch with some friends, if not all of them. Now, in Signal, by default, the focus is pretty much on privacy and all the options that are enabled are very good. But in case you're feeling a little paranoid or maybe you want to be extra secure, then in that case, this video is perfect for you because I'll be telling you all the settings that you need to enable right away to guarantee maximum possible privacy on this app. So let's get this video started with a request to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when we make more awesome videos like this one. And finally, I also need to request you guys to like this video in case you appreciate the content over here and share this video with your friends in case you feel that more people would benefit from this video. Once you get Signal, the first thing you should do is disable read receipts. Now this is like blue ticks on WhatsApp. You just disable them in the beginning. Same way in Signal, when you send a message, once someone reads it, the double ticks below the message get highlighted. So to disable this, go to settings, privacy, read receipts and disable it. One useful feature in Signal that I personally like a lot is typing indicators. Now this is basically like iMessage where you can see on screen when someone else is typing a message. I like it, but in case you don't and for privacy, if you don't want to use it, you can go to settings, privacy, typing indicators and just disable this. If you use Signal for call, there are a couple of options that will interest you. The first is Relay Calls, which routes your call through a Signal server to avoid revealing your IP address to your contact, which is an added layer of security on top of the end-to-end -end encryption that you already get on Signal Calls. To enable this, go to Settings, Privacy and Enable Always Relay Calls. So if you enable Always Relay Calls, the quality of your phone calls on Signal will definitely reduce a bit. But having said that, it's best for your privacy and security so some of you might want to enable it now right below this option only in ios you have another option that allows you to choose whether you want to show signal calls in your phone's call log or not in case you want to hide it from that you can disable show calls in recents which is under settings privacy and right below that always relay calls option on ios now let's talk about some security options. The first thing you should do while setting up Signal is create a Signal pin, which helps you recover your Signal settings in case you choose to switch devices or you lose your phone or something. Now to enable this, you need to go to settings and then advanced and over there you'll see advanced pin settings. Now here you can enable or disable your pin. In case you haven't already enabled it, please enable it now. Another security feature is registration lock. Go to settings, privacy, and over here you'll find a registration lock, which you should enable. What this will do is the next time you register Signal on a new device, to start using the app, you'll also have to enter your Signal pin. Think of this as like a second password that you need to enable to start using Signal on a new device. Many of you will be interested in some kind of a screen lock on Signal and there is an option here. Go to settings, go to privacy, over here enable screen lock. What this does is basically adds one extra password or something to enable Signal. Sometimes it might be a fingerprint sensor based unlock, sometimes it might be a face unlock and sometimes it may just be the password of your phone. Next you should enable screen security which is actually a really nice feature. Go to settings, privacy and enable screen security here. So by doing this, every time you go to the app switcher, instead of seeing the chats in Signal, you'll just see a splash screen which hides all your chats. The next feature is censorship circumvention. In case you live in a country where Signal is censored, this gets enabled automatically. Now on iOS, you can see this option under settings, advanced and censorship circumvention. Some of you may be using Signal on other devices such as Windows, Mac, iPad, Linux, whichever other device that you have. But to use this, you need your Signal phone app to be linked to that device. So linking is pretty easy, we're not going to get into it there. But in case you're not sure which devices are linked to Signal, you can always check it by going to settings and link devices on both Android and iOS. Now here on iOS, if you don't recognize any device, tap the edit button, then hit the red minus button to unlink that device from your Signal account. And similarly on Android, Android, you can tap the device name and tap OK to unlink that device from your Signal account. 
okay in case you want to be extra careful and delete your entire chat history signal for ios has a lovely option go to settings privacy and scroll down and then tap clear chat history then tap delete everything remember that this will delete all of your chats and erase everything in one go Similarly on signal for android you can go to settings storage and tap clear chat history then tap delete One more neat feature is disappearing messages which will just get rid of your messages after a certain period of time to enable this open any chat in signal tap the name of the contact at the top enable disappearing messages and right under that you can select the time limit after which messages disappear so you can go from as little as 5 seconds to 1 week and messages will be automatically deleted after this time period now there are a couple more settings that you guys should investigate in case you are interested in even more security while using signal now one of these is android system of smart replies now this thing suggests certain replies based on the content of the notification that you see and in case you want to disable it that means that even the android system is not accessing the content of your notifications and you can just enjoy even more security so let's check out how to disable smart replies for android you can go to your android phone settings not signal settings the android phone system settings over there tap apps and notifications tap notifications advanced and make sure that suggested actions and replies is disabled note that this will disable this feature for all apps it just means that when your notification comes in nobody is reading that message and suggesting any replies signal also has a useful feature that shows you link previews For example if you send a Twitter link it will try and load a preview of that link right in the message so you can go to settings privacy and disable link previews there in case you don't want to load that preview in the chat and just display URLs over there Finally for ultimate security and privacy if you want to get rid of your signal account then you can go to settings advanced and tap delete account then you can confirm it to get rid of your signal account okay so i should warn you that deleting your signal account is not something you can reverse once that account is deleted everything is gone forever so make sure that you are 100% certain that this is what you want to do before doing that With that said that concludes our list of the best tips for maximum privacy on Signal do let us know what you think via the comments and I'd also like to hear whether you stayed on Signal or you've gone back to WhatsApp or any other messaging app what you think about Signal do you think the app is user friendly is it something that you could see yourself using as your primary messaging app in the future let me know all these things via the comments and for all things tech check out gadgets360.com